The devastation that follows a major earthquake was felt firsthand in Japan earlier this year when a massive quake and tsunami hit the country's east coast. The Japanese people are recovering and are rebuilding, and students in Nanaimo are reaching out to their peers across the ocean. John Barsby Secondary School will welcome more than 100 Japanese students from a school in one of the hardest hit regions. But as CTV Steve Coulterman reports, they need the community's help to do it. It's quiet at John Barsby Secondary School in Nanaimo, but it won't be for long. The student body is preparing to welcome more than 100 Japanese students as a part of the school's annual cultural exchange program. But this year, it's a bit different. This particular school was directly impacted by the earthquake and it's like permanent damage to their school. And so we just want to give these kids a really good time. The number of students coming from Japan this year is nearly double the usual group. Organizer Cheryl Lee says the trip is part of the students curriculum but this year it provides a nice break they've had a rough year surviving the massive earthquake that struck japan in march this is a chance for them to have a good time and forget the troubles back home they do a cultural fair where they actually share what they do in japan some of their traditions and their new games and it's a chance for students here to come down and have a little taste perhaps students that weren't able to host but still want to be part of the program but the kids need somewhere to stay normally about 50 host families are needed but the increase in numbers has left organizers scrambling to find homes for the visiting students. Cheryl Lee is working the phone calling parents of the John Barsby community hoping they will open their doors. We're also looking to the broader community to help out. It's a pretty fun weekend but we do need to have really solid awesome families to step in and and make their home available and and share with the kids about life in Nanaimo and just typical family life. More than 20 host families Families are still needed from November 4th to the 7th. Families will be compensated for expenses and people from all walks of life are encouraged to host. Families need to be safe and, and caring and, and just ready to, to give them um, the comfort and, and positive experience that, that they will be looking for. The students at John Barsby want to learn from the visiting students and teach them a thing or two about what it's like to be a Canadian teenager. We like to um, go in games with them, we like to do things, we kind of like to get their minds off of their home time. At the same time, we do talk about their home style. Um, yeah, so it's very important that we help them have fun, relax and enjoy and learn a little bit about Nanaimo, John Bars in Canada. Muskoka Language International is asking anyone who may be interested in opening up their home for the weekend visit to contact them at 250-667-8226. Steve Coulterman, CTV News, Nanaimo.